In fact, in, in 2002, July, we had an Africa Sun in South Africa. And there, African ministers and stakeholders like NGOs, donor communities committed ourselves to develop similar strategies. One, by introducing appropriate technologies to replace the conventional sanitation and sewage system that has been introduced and taken over because not everybody can afford the sewage or even septic tanker system. So we are now looking at the alternative sanitation strategies and we agreed and we committed ourselves and we committed our government to explore every possible alternative that can be developed. This slum earlier is called the Kisenyi, Kisenyi 1 in Kakajo zone. It is one of the densely populated slums in Kampala. It's an area where sanitation is very poor in Kampala. See in Kampala we have a number of slums which are like this, but this one is, very, is the worst, I could say it's the worst, in as, as far as sanitation is concerned. We have uh, different systems. Uh, for the well-to-do people, they use waterborne uh, toilets, and the middle class normally use pit latrines or um, VIP latrines. The VIP toilet, see, that's why we have a septic tank somewhere, then a cesspool vehicle comes and takes away. But also that one is very expensive for the community. Most of the people here are poor. Every trip of uh, that effluent of uh, the septic tank is costing about 100,000, which is very expensive for the people. The problem, the other problem we face here in Kampala is that we keep on receiving people from the villages. Rural migration is so high here that when we have mobilized, we have trained our people who are residents in Kampala, then we have an influx of people coming from rural areas. Those don't know anything. Sometimes they come with their own cultures and they come with their village attitude. So it is a bit difficult really for everybody in Kampala to know the policies of Kampala. Another, toy, another system which they are using here, the flying toilets, there is what we call the flying toilets. People just defecate in the polythene and then they throw. And so very dangerous in this area as far as health is concerned. Originally, in the old times, it was, you know, people used to take care of their disposal in such a manner that did not actually harm the ecological system. But with development, we somehow abandoned it. But now we are revisiting it, and we are now trying to see how the sanitation can actually coexist with nature, both man, vegetation, animals, and all that. And because of that, we have started what we call ecological sanitation unit within the water sector. We are now coming up with another system which uh, has been introduced to us, uh, which is ecosan uh, sanitation. And this one, I think, will be a, a kind of remedy to areas like these ones. By year 2015, we should be able to have every Ugandan have an adequate access to sanitation service. And this is not very difficult. All that it requires is not so much the construction of uh, to toilets by government, but the sensitization. People need to be sensitized. Hygiene education has got to be reintroduced in schools and the communities so that they can traverse the nation to make sure that by year 2015, everybody knows why you must have sanitation around you. Well, uh, this idea first of all came from one of our sisters who was working in the northern part of the country and had seen this system in one of the places there. So when she came up with the idea, she said, you know, there is, because our toilets were getting old and we were trying to see how we can construct new pit latrines. 
So she said, you know, instead of building again pitya trains, which after a short period of time they really fill up, and the smell, she said, you know, there is another type, a system of ecological toilets, which we could try. And I had never heard of the ecological toilets. So I said, well, how does it work? Well, in using the ecosan toilets, when you enter the toilet, you have to be standing in a certain posture. You make sure that you're standing just right like this. So that when you squat, where the urine goes is not where the feces are going. She said, well, it is like a flush toilet, but not. It doesn't need water. And I said, then that's a pit latrine. She said, no, it's a, a system. It's dry toilets. You don't use water, but uh, it is the best because it does not smell. Then what after that, what you have to do is you get a spoonful of ash, a spoonful of it, you go directly to the hole where the feces do go. You pour the spoonful of ash there, you put back the I looked at the pictures and I said, no, 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 this cannot work here. Maybe for the staff, but for a group of young students, who is going to follow them up to make sure they, they really utilize it properly? So when we started, we gave the first instructions and we opened one section, a few of them. So after one week, we, saw, we felt a bit comfortable. We saw they were using okay. Then after that, for sanitary purposes, you have to wash your hands. And what you have to note is that in washing your hands, you ought to be using soap. And this is what you have to do. You wash your hands with soap. And that implies by the, when you're using Ecosan toilets, there should be water somewhere. You don't just get out of the place like that. So after washing your hands, there you go. We have started implementing and the training because the new concept of ecological sanitation is still new in the, uh, in the mind, the knowledge of people. We used like at my school here, we used to be having the use of latrines, whereby you find that the way you dispose your feces is where you dispose your urine. And it could cause a lot of smell around. Yes, but uh, as soon as we started this kind of system, really, we are not having such kind of smell in the school. And they are perfect. That is if they are perfectly used. Of course, it could be the most kind of system that I would like to be having I myself, and I believe I shall have it. Yes, 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 I have it at my home, and we are using it, and I make sure every visitor who comes to my house looks at it, and I know, I try to interest them.